Step two, when it comes to internal expectations, we can only have two types. We can have expectations that are outcome-based, and we can have expectations which are process or performance-based. Now, which ones can we actually control? Exactly. We can only control process-based expectations, such as how well can I focus on this particular place, such as how well can I relax in this particular place, such as my overall level of commitment, and of course, if those other three C's are in place, it builds our confidence. We're confident when we feel like no matter what the situation, no matter what the pressure, we have the necessary level of poise, our ability to relax and focus, to do very, very, very well, to give ourselves the best chance. That breeds confidence. So these are the, basically the only things we can control and need to be our focus. If our internal expectations are that the be all and end all is, is, is winning that championship, and again, I've got to preface my comments here. I'm not trying to say winning is not important. It's critical. The higher level you go, the more important it actually becomes. But I'm trying to say that once you've set that goal of that championship and it's there in stone, it is no longer looked at and your life, your 100% focus, you immerse yourself in the process and in the present, all the variables are going to be responsible for that championship. So the goal is, if you ever want to reduce expectations without requiring less of the athlete, number one, step one, is we ignore external expectations. The only ones that matter are going to be in this room, internally driven. And of our internal expectations, yes, we're going to set some outcome-based goals, and we're going to do that at the start of the season. Uh, we may even revisit those goals maybe halfway through the year. But for every outcome-based goal, we're going to set a number of performance-based or process-based goals. And those things are going to be our focus. Now, when we're able to do that, it actually relieves the pressure. It actually lowers our expectations and has us to focus on things we can actually control. And when we focus on things we can actually control under pressure, it relieves the pressure. Like a huge pressure cooker, it just lets off the steam. Now, certainly when we address confidence and we look at very, very smart ways under pressure to elevate our self-belief system and elevate our confidence, we get the rest of the way there. But our first step today in regards to focus is going to be smart ways to reduce expectations without requiring any less of ourselves. Some things that, that you've done with some of the teams that have helped reduce some of those expectations or you've tried to shield them from those external expectations. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a great point, Spencer, because what happens is a game that is played in November is on the same court, same dimension, same height to the basket, same length in the free throw line, and a game that's played in March Madness in the NCAA tournament to go to the Final Four is played inside the same dimensions. But the public perception and the drama that is created in a player's mind of, if we win this game, we're going to the Final Four. If we go to the Final Four, a chance we might, but you know, they, they weren't even thinking about playing in a game in November like that. Right. So those external things get in the way and create more pressure because as the game is being played, they're thinking about what this is going to mean. The mindful mentality, right? And I also think, I think this is really, really something I've learned, is that the players need to understand that you do not become something or somebody because you've won a national championship or you made it to the Final Four. It brings absolutely zero value to your life. It is the process that you go through as a team trying to accomplish something greater than yourself that you learn that can help you be a better father, a better husband, a better friend, a better worker, to understand what goes into success.